I hope you can hear me because I don't think these uh, headphones have a mic. But I just wanted to do a little show off here. I got a couple of new things that I'm happy about. Um, I went to some antique stores, or one, sorry, one antique store, and the Goodwill, but they didn't have anything. And I've been wanting this for months. It's a Native American rattle, more specifically uh, from Mexico. The tag said that it was from, can you see the little ball on the inside? <gasps> cool, you can see it. They said it was from the 1980s. So these seeds, I made a joke earlier, these seeds are older than my nuts. <laughs> That's messed up, right? But basically what they do is they empty them out and they put these little uh, balls, these little, uh, looks like BBs. And these are from, the tree that I read is called Ayoyote. So you want to hear the really annoying sound? I was going all around the house today, going. <laughs> but I drilled a hole in it so that I could hang it. And um, I have here my tattoo, the a dream I had. I've mentioned that in previous videos. I got a cactus that the light changes colors, but the battery is already running out. Thanks to my son. Oh, and I, you see these lights? They're voice activated, but they also have a setting to constantly stay on. Let me see. There we go. So I lined the altar there. It's got a hell of a lot of pastries. Um, Tequila from a devotee as a thank you. And somebody's scythe is facing the wrong direction. That's because the cats were messing with it when I was gone. Um, okay, and I just got this elephant, this white elephant today. I kept having these images in my head of an elephant, an elephant. I even saw it in a wood. Uh, in wood grain and wood granules as the shape of an elephant. I was like, what's the deal? I was like, oh, well, I mean, an elephant with its trunk up is a sign of good luck. This one came from the antique store and it came emptied out there in the center. So I was like, I'll use this for when I'm adding money to her altar. Uh, these flowers have been here... Uh, four days. I first got them and they were already looking like this. You see how it's kind of wilty? I first got them. Then it happened to be raining, so I put rainwater in here and they perked up, but now they're starting to wilt again. I just had an image of get me pink flowers, get me pink flowers, and those were the pink flowers. This, I don't know if you can see, is a dream I had recently where. She's standing between Earth and God, and she's saying, like, dude, I'm getting, like, shit from both ends, basically. <laughs> That's what it said. Like, God is there, but he just, like, or God checks in from time to time, but isn't always, like, up our asses all the time. And she's kind of like the informant. Sort of, kind of. I don't know how else to explain it. She's like, I even get questions from God. And I was like, you poor thing. I'm so sorry. And I got this. This was originally in the bedroom. But it says Mexico and I got it from what we call market days. Which is kind of like a... Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's a market day. It's uh, We set up a whole street where local vendors will sell, sell their stuff. And I already know what you guys are going to say. You're going to see this candle and you're going to be like, ooh, it's got black. Well... That's because I light it with an incense stick. So when I stick the incense stick in there, I let the, the fire from the incense sticks, because I have to light it all the way down at the bottom, burns the glass. So don't freak out because you see black on the glass. Technically, it's burning clear. <laughs> so another addition is 
down here. I'm trying to start with a Day of the Dead altar. I know it's very early, but I have some some uh, ancestors up there. Well, not really. I mean, they're great grandparents. Got some rabbit fur. That's a deer hoof. We got two of them. I have them up there because one, my husband stuffed them and you know, we don't really do anything with them. And two, my grandfather was really big with hunting, as were all my forefathers. So I didn't want to put any candles just yet, so I just put two cups of water. See, right there. I'm using the forward-facing camera, so I don't know where I'm pointing. Another rabbit's fur. Um, these are her parents. She passed away recently. She was the most inspirational woman, and she still is. That's my grandmother. If I were to idolize anybody, it would be her. She is the best. Um, and there we go. So that's what I have so far. It's, it's, a, it's a work in progress, you know. So this is the whole picture. Oh, that little lamp guy up there. Can you see it? Let me see if I can point the camera the right direction. That was a gift, a really, really cool gift. And inside is a tea light, but it's, yeah, it's hanging there from the ceiling. And it just so happens to match with everything you see here. So it's, it's a work in progress, a constant. I don't have um, half the things that I, normally have here but I was bringing everything inside she was like all right it's time to bring me back inside we were supposed to have privacy outside but that didn't happen so bring me back inside and since I brought her back in I since I brought the statues back inside I've felt an immense difference yeah the good with the back <laughs> I felt an immense difference like I can feel everything <laughs> Uh, I want to show you the other ones. I did something a little unorthodox, I will say. Normally, you will see the red, the white, and the black on the same altar. But in parts of Mexico, I've seen pictures where they have them in separate areas. So that's what I did. Also, I did it because all the statues I have are different sizes. <laughs> so. I'm really OCD, so they're ones like shorter and taller. And taller. It would have bugged me. It bugged me before, and it still bugs me now. So I have this over here. And she is by the front door with an aloe plant. Okay. And this is kind of like her little table for now. Um, honest to goodness, truth, if I'm going to tell you something. With this one, with this representation, I don't get asked for many offerings. Uh, water, occasionally wine, um, bread sometimes, but I don't really get asked for much. So this is what I have, just representations, um, the plant for now, and I... I built her a little stand down there because I was always told you never should have them on the floor. I don't know if that's a real thing or not, but I'll take you to the bedroom for the white one. Okay, now here, yes, there is a lot missing, but here's my Miss Smiley. She smiles so much. Every time I'm doing the rosary for her, I always look over her cute little face, her cute little statue face, and she's smiling, and I just start giggling. I can't help it. She always makes me giggle. Um, I have a little set up here for her in the bedroom. Like I said, it's a little unorthodox, but that's just where I felt called to set it up. There's, um, Spanish cards, the Baraja Española. There's my Day of the Dead cards, which I associate as ancestral tarot cards. It's what I use to talk to ancestors with. There's a couple of things here that were my grandmother's, and I'm pretty sure she would not approve, but can you see it? The Jesus 
and I always thought I wouldn't be able to put these on on the altar because I had this situation with a Marian um, a Marian candle and in my dream it ended up broken and I asked is it that you don't want the Marian candle and said yes but with this separation deal going on I'm trying an experiment I'm seeing yes I know she's the same spirit just represented differently but I'm seeing if it's just one side of her in particular that doesn't like certain things. So I'm going back and reteaching myself, trying experimentation, seeing what, what the results are. So um, we got this, which is olive oil in a little Jesus dispenser, which was my grandmother's. I also have... Uh, this one as well, but this one is just holy water. It's the Jesus. And this is also holy water. I have here a white candle for her. Um, this, this rosary was my grandmother's. These books. These are prayer books. These are my grandmother's. This is a book I already had, um, book of selected prayers, but in English. As you can tell, this was a Boveda space. <sighs> I, that's a whole other thing. Um, that's likely going to be set up elsewhere. Uh, but this is just storage for other things. Um, what I was going to do is I have a large framed picture of the bridal Santa Muerte in white. And I'm going to put that behind her. And I'm going to put some corner shelves, things on the sides. So that this whole little area is hers. It's, it's kind of a weird little nook in the bedroom. You see how it's kind of pushed into the wall there? And she's got a window back here, so... She gets the, uh, she gets the sun. Technically, they all get the sun because two out of the three are by a window. Oddly enough, the, they all form a triangle inside the house. I thought that was pretty cool. So, yeah, that's what I have going on with that. And I want to end this at 13 minutes. So, we'll see you next time.